this classic movie from the 1960s is loved by many generations. Its story, songs, and characters have really stuck with people everywhere. It's interesting to learn about the surprising and emotional facts behind it. People often ask why this movie is still so popular. It could be because of its themes of love, family, and bravery, or maybe it's the memorable songs that people of all ages enjoy. Now, let's make it more personal. Has this film touched your life somehow? Perhaps there's a song that takes you back to a special time or a character who inspired you to be yourself. We'd like to hear about your experiences or special memories related to the film. Please share them in the comments. This movie is more than just scenes and songs, it's full of feelings and experiences that many people share. Whether it's your first or 50th time watching, it always seems to have something new to discover. Let's jump into the world of this movie and explore what makes it so special. This 1965 movie continues to be loved and admired long after its first release. Its influence on culture and movies is significant and has many aspects. The film's stories about love, family, and bravery in tough times have touched audiences for many years, making it a classic that doesn't get old. Its ability to connect with people through relatable characters and happy music has made it more than just a film. It's a source of hope and comfort for many. One of the most noticeable effects of the movie is its music. The soundtrack is tied closely with a specific time period, often bringing back happy memories. These songs have been played and sung by a lot of different artists, showing how popular and relevant they remain. Additionally, the film has had a big influence on musical theater, with various stage versions introducing its story to new viewers, keeping its popularity alive. In terms of cultural influence, the movie has been used to teach important lessons to different generations. Its messages about staying strong, standing up for what you believe in, and the value of family are just as important today as they were when the movie first came out. This is a big reason why it's still a favorite for teaching about films and during family movie nights. Also, the setting and historical background of the film offer a chance to talk about history and ethics. By mixing entertainment with historical elements, it gives a friendly way for younger people to learn about major historical events and moral questions. The film's influence is also seen in tourism, with many fans visiting the places where it was filmed. These trips to Salzburg and nearby areas show how the movie can inspire and connect with fans in a real and meaningful way. In conclusion, this 1965 movie shows how powerful storytelling, music, and movies can be. Its ability to be loved across generations, teach important life lessons, and bring happiness to so many is what makes it an outstanding movie in film history. The film's ongoing popularity, the cultural discussions it starts, and the personal connections it creates make it as relevant today as it was when it first came out. Delving into the fascinating aspects of this popular movie, we find intriguing details about its creation and the talented people involved. For instance, one of the actors began his acting career with a role in Gene Cocteau's Machina Inferno, a starting point he shared with William Shatner. It's interesting how their careers intersected again years later in a completely different movie genre, showing their wide range of acting skills. The process of selecting actors for this film was quite intense, involving many tests and auditions. One actor even tried out for a part in the prime of Miss Jean Brody, which eventually went to Pamela Franklin. This shows how tough and competitive the process of casting for films can be and how actors often come across various opportunities in their careers. Additionally, the movie is closely linked to the personal lives of its cast. The actor we mentioned, along with his daughter, Amanda Plummer, have both performed in Gene Annual's The Lark. They appeared in this play decades apart in Broadway and Stratford, highlighting the long-lasting popularity of theater and its impact on movie actors. This movie is more than just its story and music. It's a combination of the actors' professional paths, personal relationships, and the connection between movies and theater. Understanding these elements gives us a deeper appreciation of the movie's timeless charm. Exploring further into the fascinating world behind the creation of this timeless movie, there are several noteworthy aspects that add to its rich history. Initially, the lead actor faced a crucial decision in his career when he was offered a role in The Ipcress File. However, he chose to be part of this movie instead, a choice that significantly shaped his career trajectory. This decision not only impacted his path, but also opened the door for Sir Michael Caine to step into the role in The Ipcris File, illustrating how a single choice can influence the careers of multiple actors in the film industry. 
The lead actor's contribution to the arts was recognized beyond his film roles. In 1998, he received a significant honor, being named a charter member on Canada's Walk of Fame in Toronto, Ontario. This accolade was a testament to his influence and success in the entertainment industry, marking him as a significant figure in Canadian culture. Another interesting aspect is the dedication of the actresses to their roles. In an earlier film, Bedlam, one of the actresses made a deliberate choice to darken her hair. This decision was made to bring a more serious tone to her character, showcasing her commitment to her craft. Additionally, the connection between films of different eras is highlighted by the reuse of a costume from Gone with a Wind in Bedlam, indicating how elements of filmmaking can transcend time and genre. These details not only enrich the story behind this beloved movie, but also demonstrate the depth of consideration and personal investment that the actors brought to their roles. Their choices and honors, both within and beyond the movie, paint a picture of a film that is deeply intertwined with the lives and careers of those who brought it to life. This classic film is a result of these collective efforts and decisions contributing to its lasting appeal and significance in film history. The famous movie made in the mid-1960s was filmed in Salzburg, Austria over three months. This filming was key to showing the real beauty and feel of the area which made the movie look good and historically accurate. In an important scene, Captain Von Trapp, played by Christopher Plummer, meets Herr Zeller, acted by Ben Wright. This scene is full of tension because Zeller shows disrespect for the Austrian flag and talks to a guest who seems to agree with Nazi ideas. This guest, who wears glasses, looks like Dr. Arthur Seyss in court, a well-known figure in Austrian history. This part of the movie subtly shows the increasing political problems of that time, making the film's historical setting richer. Charmian Carr, who played the oldest Von Trapp child, was born in 1942 in Chicago. Coming from a family of performers, with a mother who was a vaudeville actress and a musician father, probably influenced her career. Carr passed away in September 2016 at the age of 73, which made the cast and fans look back on her life. Ted Chapin, head of the Rogers and Hammerstein organization, talked about Carr's death, mentioning her role in the film and how she was a leader for her fellow actors. Carr left behind her children, grandchildren, and her movie cast members who were like another family to her. Kim Carath, who played Gretel, the youngest Von Trapp, talked about the strong connections among the cast, which lasted long after the movie was made. The movie starred on Broadway in late 1959, closing in mid-1963 after one 443 shows, is important for understanding how it went from a stage play to a movie. The theater version set the stage for the film, introducing the story and songs that later became popular with a bigger audience in the cinema. This film, with its rich mix of history, personal stories, and cultural impact, continues to appeal to people all over the world. It goes beyond its beginnings to become a much-loved classic. The hard work and talent of the actors and crew, along with the significant historical and cultural themes in the movie, add to its lasting popularity and legacy.